the clock strikes once at one o'clock, twice at two o'clock, and thrice at three o'clock, and so on. If it takes twelve seconds to strike at five o'clock, what is the time taken it to strike at ten o'clock? So, like I said, some grammatical errors here, but then I think the context is clear, right? So basically, there is a clock. It strikes once at one o'clock, twice at two o'clock, and thrice at three o'clock, and so on. So, so it's like when it is four p.m. the clock will strike four times if it is 6 pm the clock will strike six times so just by the number of strikes the number of strokes you can understand what is the time suppose if you suddenly hear the clock striking count the number of strokes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so it means it is 8 pm by the way it is actually 8 pm we'll be closing the session soon so so this is the clock and and just for your general knowledge i had seen one such clock in this museum called salarjang museum in hyderabad right it's a very uh, popular museum all stuff related to nizams and there are there so there's this clock there a big clock where a bird comes out and comes out every one hour and you know rings a bell or something like that and then the same concept there right if it is 1 o'clock it 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 rings once if it is 2 o'clock it rings twice and so on Now it says that it takes twelve seconds to strike at five o'clock. What is the time taken by to, you know, strike at ten o'clock? So I I don't see any uh, concern here, right? I mean, like at five o'clock we know that it strikes five times, right? So for striking five times it takes twelve seconds. At ten o'clock it would strike how many times? Ten times. So it's like this, right? For ringing five times it takes twelve seconds. So for ringing ten times it should take twenty-four seconds. right and that's your answer